New to woman on Long Island facing a judge for allegedly hitting a triathlete on a bike in the middle of a race. Suffolk police say the crash happened earlier this month in a race route in Shirley, and the athlete suffered serious injuries. Eyewitness News reporter Stacy Sager live at the courthouse in Central Islip with what we know this noon. Stacy. Well, Mike, you know, a group of people showed up here at the courthouse to support that athlete, Sal Gomez. He's a father of two. He remains hospitalized right now with a traumatic brain injury and a spinal fracture. Meanwhile, the driver who struck him, she's a bartender from Westbury. She has a prior conviction for DWI, but her lawyer insists that this was all a terrible accident. Do you have anything you want to say about what occurred? But 29-year-old Ramona Figueroa Lopez had nothing to say, letting her lawyer do the talking here at court instead. Did she indicate why she drove in a closed area? Closed I don't. Area? I don't know if that's accurate. I don't know if that's accurate. All I can tell you is that it's an accident, and uh, she's extremely sorry, and uh, you know, for for the injuries, and her thoughts and prayers are with the family. According to prosecutors, Figueroa Lopez was driving this white SUV on August 6th here at Smith Point Park, and she drove it at a high rate of speed right into a closed triathlon race route, striking 43-year-old Sal Gomez, a father of two, on a bicycle. He's now in critical condition with a traumatic brain injury. Supporters, many of them fellow racers, at court today seeking answers. Sal is a, a great teammate from our Selden Hills group, and he's got two young kids, one of whom he donated a kidney to, uh, a real family man. Figueroa Lopez did have a prior for driving while intoxicated back in July of 2021, and she had an interlock device on her vehicle, not operational at the time. But her lawyer says that charge will likely go away. I'm confident because that should have been removed from motor vehicles over a year ago. Still, Gomez's fellow racers have so many questions about a woman who works as a bartender now facing a reckless driving charge. This woman hits him, works at a bar, was convicted of DWI, and she's walking free, and she's going back to her job. And they say the larger issue here is biker safety in general, and they hope this case raises awareness. So I keep thinking it could have been any one of us that day, and that's a scary thing. Yeah, and this all happened very, very quickly, and all the people who were at that race say they really hope this case does raise awareness that motorists are more aware of bikers in general who take part in these races. Meanwhile, Figueroa Lopez, she was released on her own recognizance. She's due back here at court on September 22nd.